Tucked away in the Northeast is a little church with a large mission to make sure the kids have a future. Because I'm from here, um, I'm trying to give the kids the opportunities that I didn't have. And so our greatest impact is the future of the future generation that's coming before us. And we have a model that we say, uh, today's youth will become tomorrow's leaders. Pastor Bobby Rowe is the pastor for Saving Faith Baptist Church on North Clayton Street, and he wants to make sure the four E's are met. We have a principle, the four E principle in our tutoring program, and the four E's are uh, equip, educate, encourage, and elevate. We apply those four principles into each student's life, and we believe that those four E's will help those youth get to the next level. And the youth that we target in this area are youth that are at risk. Um, they, may be, they may come from single parent homes, uh, different challenging backgrounds, and we wanna just give them hope. Let them know that there are people in the community that are concerned about you, not just about your well-being, but about your educational, your physical needs, whatever area in life that they need. We're not only providing tutoring, but we're also mentoring. Pastor Rowe was born and raised in Mount Dora, moved away, but found himself drawn back to town. I was born and raised here in Mount Dora. Uh, I grew up right here in the uh, Oakwood Apartments, apartment 29. I grew up there, went to high school, went to uh, school, Roseboro Elementary, Mount Dora Middle School, graduated from Mount Dora High School in 96. My wife and I got married in 99 and we left the area. We were out of the area for 17 years between Orlando and Georgia. And so uh, we did ministry in Orlando and in Georgia, and it was time for us to come back and do ministry in our own community. And so three years ago, we moved back on purpose, for purpose, to have an impact in our community. And so that's why we do what we do, because we're here on purpose. We want to empower, impact this community, and make it to where the residents in this community are self-sufficient, they're equipped, they're trained, they're activated, and they're concerned and care about the community. His calling is more than just a job. I can't answer what inspired me to be a pastor. It was a calling that God placed on my heart in my life. So I didn't want to be a pastor. <laughs> I was chosen by God to be a pastor. Pastor Rose started a tutoring program that starts with pre-K and goes all the way to high school to help kids who may be struggling in school and in life. Right now we have a, a tutoring program. Um, it's entitled Get Connected, Stay Connected. The program is every Wednesday night, but Pastor Rowe wants to expand the program and is always looking for volunteers, especially from the Northeast. And what I need is more mentors, more tutors that's from this community. Uh, we welcome all tutors, all mentors, but it's ironic that someone asked me, I would like to see more African-American tutors to come in and help out. Pastor Rowe's mission is to make sure the kids in the Northeast are not just helped with their schooling, but are loved as well. I realized that I have influence and I never saw myself as a person of influence in that particular way. And it, it, I realized it when little kids walked up to me and began to hug me and recognize me as pastor and begin to tell their friends, that's Pastor Rowe, that's Pastor Rowe. And I said, wow, I, I have a real influence in this community. And so I don't take it for granted and with influence, it's, it's something where you can have a positive influence or a negative influence, but I choose to have a positive influence and I accept that mantle that's been placed on my life. I take total responsibility of having that position of influence in this community. Wow, that's amazing.